Okay, everyone, we're ready to do our glass. What I've done is I've printed off of my printer a picture 1.5 inches in width. And I'm doing a bride from the turn of the century. And I'm just making sure my glass fits on it pretty well. You can trim it if you need to. And what I'm going to do is my glass is nice and clean. And I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to hold my image in place. And I'm going to take the foil circle that I sent you guys with your kit, and I'm going to, to just remove it from the paper. It's kind of hard with these. I'm going to fold it back, not even halfway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, and I'm going to make sure it fits and sits on the edges of my circle glass. Just going to keep holding everything in place where I want it. I'm going to peel off the rest. And I'm just going to like fold it over on the edges of the glass so it can stay. It's not super sturdy, but it's going to stay long enough for me to use my foil tape. So now I've got my foil tape. I'm going to not touching the sticky side. I'm going to fold it over about a half an inch, and I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to pick up my glass again, and I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm going to just center the glass onto the tape so it's pretty even in front and back. And I'm going to lay that tape. If you guys solder, you know how to do this. I'm going to lay that tape, and I'm going to keep watching it and keeping it centered, and I'm going to just go all the way around the glass with the tape. I use my finger to smooth it and secure it a little bit. Now when I'm getting towards the end, I want to make sure that my pieces meet up along the edges. So I'm just going to eyeball that and I'm going to look at it. And I'm covering over it about another half an inch. Then I'm going to cut it or tear it. I like to just tear it, but, and I'm going to press it down. I'm going to be gentle. I'm not going to press any of this tape down yet. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this burnishing tool that you guys get, need to get at stained glass supply, and I'm going to press the tape down one part slowly, one part down, one part down, so that it lays nicely. We're not going to be soldering, but this works really well. Gone through a lot of different things. Bezel, cup, pieces, you name it, and this is the best. It doesn't have to be pretty. We're not soldering it. But you just want to get it down. Then, once that's down, it's not down tightly yet, but I've just pressed it down with the burnishing tool. I'm going to go along the edges. I'm just going to rub that foil onto the glass so it's really stuck onto the sides of the glass. It's not fun, but you need it to be nice and stuck. Then, since the sides are done, I'm going to lay it down carefully and I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to push down with my burnishing tool with my finger like this, and I'm just going to start pushing it down, the foil tape down into the foil piece all the way around. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take the side edge, and I'm really going to pressure it on an angle, and I'm really going to burnish it together. along the, just the edges to make sure that it's really down tight. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back on my flat part and put my finger there, and I'm just going to go circular, and I'm going to really stick that tape onto the paper that's underneath it. Then I'm going to go to the front. I'm going to press it down. I'm 
Then I'm going to take my angle. Really going to get it stuck to the glass so that nothing can get inside and underneath that tape. This tape is great. You can use it for a lot of things. Not just soldering, not just stained glass, not just plumbing even. <laughs> okay, so it's down nice and tight. It's not necessarily pretty, but it's what I need. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my frame like this. I'm going to lay it where I know I want it. And I'm going to use my E6000 glue. I'm going to lay a decent amount of E6000 glue along the top of the tape. around the edge. Don't be afraid to use too much because you, once everything is dry, you can always clean it up with a Dremel um, steel brush tool. So, I've got my E6000 glue on there and I'm going to lay my frame over the top. I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes. We'll pretend I'm letting it wait five minutes. Then I'm going to come in with my small clamps and I'm going to hold it down in place where I need it. So, that's going to sit, but at the same time, Well, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to let that sit there. Let it sit for about four or five hours, and then we're going to come back. All right, our final step is we're going to take our glass piece. It's all dry, and we're going to go to the back, and we're going to place a pretty decent amount right in the center of our E6000 glue. Now, remember, I would say probably about a dime size. We're going to take it and we're going to adhere it directly to our crown. Right there in the center where you want it. Probably a little higher than the center actually. I like it right there. So I'm just going to put it there and I'm going to use my medium sized clamp. Maybe I'll bring a large one. You can use several medium sized or I'm just going to go with one large one. And I'm just going to clamp it down right in the center. I'm going to let this dry for at least 24 hours. And once it's dry, your crown will be completed.